my channel welcome if you are new and welcome back if not to make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you like the video and comment down below let me know what you think about this video as you guys can tell it has been a minute since our last video it is today today is january 23rd it is monday and i just needed a few weeks honestly of just some um, some silence <laughs> not literally but I just wanted to kind of figure out my goals for how I want to go about my social media my you know YouTube everything just wanted to kind of get that in my brain to figure out how I want to go about things especially now that it is a new year I just kind of wanted to be intentional about how I handle certain things in my life such as like my career and stuff so I want to make sure that I am doing things the right way setting things up the way I want them to go anyway scratch that I'm so happy to be back I really miss um, video, like I really miss recording and you know just interacting with you guys on here I saw my channel grow a lot while I was gone but I really want to um, oh these people drive really crazy y'all you should see this car um, I really want to just be much more intentional this year about what I'm posting and you know the my brand so hope you guys are excited for the videos that are gonna be um, coming up soon so you guys saw earlier in the video that I did like a reset pretty much of my bedroom that's pretty much what this video is gonna be I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm kind of just resetting my life <laughs> pretty much not literally my whole life but I wanted to um, just kind of you know how we do our Sunday resets like our weekly resets I want to kind of reset for a fresh year to kind of you know set ourselves up for success so we're gonna just do all like the little things that I consider 
a reset um this is not in any way like what i do every year i don't have that routine i'm just showing you guys what i'm doing today okay so we cleaned our room we got the room nice and fresh um switch some things around now i am pulling up to world market i want to go and get a few candles because i'm out of candles for the shop also out of candles for my house so i want to get a few candles and then we're going to go to target do our thing in target um i got my starbucks this morning i've been really on very hard uh frappuccinos like i hadn't gotten a frappuccino in years but something about it recently has just been doing it for me so i got i just get the regular cafe frappe that's what i get um uh, from target the vanilla and normally i get a tall today i got a grande i was feeling spicy but um yeah that's what we have i'm about to run in here i'm gonna bring you guys with me i love world market love them y'all they have i feel like they're really slept on especially for like their um like home decor and stuff they have great candles so we're gonna go in there really cute stuff and then we'll see where else life takes us I've never tried this one, but it's super cute. I love how simple it is. It's like a linen scent, really fresh. It's different. $17.99. So I'm gonna try this one out. All right, y'all, so this is another one. This one is very much sweeter. This is Coco de Mer. I don't really know how to describe it. Y'all know I'm horrible at describing scents, but it smells good. So I'm gonna try this one. $17.99. This is the brand that I normally get, but Normally I get the milk and honey, but they're out of that one, so I'm gonna try this one. These little room sprays. This is the black pine. And the bottles are always too cute. Now white patchouli. Mm, I love this one. They have it and I have the rose spray in the scent. I love this scent. I'm gonna grab one of these small ones. Seven ninety nine. This would be cute for like the bathroom or like in the shop somewhere. I'm gonna grab one of these. Alright y'all, so that's my favorite Janae Eco song above and beyond but i'm about to run into whole foods to return this tripod that i got Ugh. it's a great tripod but um release detachable monopod um it's a great tripod but i wanted the one that extends so you can do get like overhead shots so this one doesn't do that and i need that so i'm gonna return it and get the one that I want. Oh, that's what needs to come off. So I'm just detaching this so that I can pack it. I'm bringing it to Whole Foods because with theirs, it's free. And how do I make it go down some more? Uh, it's free and you don't have to pack it up or anything. So that makes it easier for me. Um... Cause I don't have the packaging anymore. I bought this thing almost like I don't know how to get this to fit. I don't know how I got it. So I'm gonna just bring this in there to them and hopefully they can just take it as it is. Okay, so I didn't record it, but I went for a walk in the park. Um, I did like two miles. And that was really nice. And then, I think they will see if they show me how to take this off. Oh, so this is supposed to come off. I just don't know how to get this stupid thing off. Oh, this has to come up. Okay, how did I get this thing off the first time? This should come up. Hold on. This thing should come up. Okay, y'all, let me figure out how to get this thing down, and then I'll catch y'all in a second. 
y'all. I think I figured it out. So I was folding it the opposite way. If you fold it this way, it um it's a little shorter. And it'll fit in the open up in the bag. That's what I was trying to get it to be able to fit in the bag. So if I fold it opposite, it goes in. Fine. Uh -oh. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. So it's shorter so that I can put it in here. Perfect. And then I can just drop it off. I'm trying to decide what I want to cook tonight because I want to make something. I'm trying not to eat out as much. But I just don't even know what to make. I feel like I make the same things when I don't know what to cook. So I'm going to Whole Foods. I might go look around and see what I can think of to cook. Still not fitting. Yeah, I feel like a crazy person right now. Oh, that's why. Okay. Is that why? Look, this thing gonna fit. There we go. Barely. Hold up. Oh, hold up. There we go. Okay. Oh, forgot this part. Do this part. This too. I don't want them to say I forgot nothing. I don't know how they would know, but just put everything in there. Okay. Whew. We fit it. So I'm about to go drop this off and I will catch y'all in a second. All right, y'all. So that was quick, really quick, really easy. Now we can head home, get the rest of our day started, and um, prep ourselves for the week. But one of my goals for like here on out has been to just really do more and like put myself together on a daily so i'm trying to come up with a just like everyday really quick routine just to look more put together because i'm the type of girl y'all because i'm definitely the type of girl that will literally like i don't really feel like i need makeup every day so i don't really like wearing makeup like on a daily basis which is completely fine like i don't have to do that but I want to start looking, especially like for work and like being in the salon and stuff. I kind of want to just start putting myself together a little bit more. So I've been, so I've been using just like a concealer that's closer to my skin tone and wearing that and putting that underneath my eyes. And I kind of, I'll kind of just kind of blend it all over my face. I feel like that just gives me a more put together look i'm trying to do this like for work or just for like everyday running errand type thing do i wear this every day absolutely not <laughs> so let's finish talking about i want to tell you guys a little bit more about what i have planned for like the rest of the year and upcoming months you know as a business owner i feel like every year like you want to kind of do better so every year because I've only technically been in business for, let's see, um, this will be my fourth year in business, right? 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, this is my fourth year. So, um, I think, <laughs> I think I started in 2019. Yeah, 2019 is when I really started. Um, so, I, um, I feel like my first year I was kind of just trying to get my feet in, you know, get my get my name out there kind of just kind of get used to being a hairstylist I guess and then I think last year y'all last year went ham okay and when I say that I mean like not a slow season nothing I don't know if that had anything to do with COVID and like everybody getting back to like you know regular life everyone excited making all their appointments and everything I don't know if it was that or if it just was a good year right so Last year was great. This year, I did definitely experience a slower season, which I know is normal for like hair salons and the beauty industry period. So summertime and like early fall were definitely my slower seasons. Although like it was fine. Like I didn't, didn't really miss a beat. It just was definitely something to get used to. So I want, now that I know what to expect and I know what, you know, happened, this year, I want to prepare myself for that going into the year. So, um, 
prepare myself for that slower season. Uh, even like stuff, just learning new stuff. Being a business owner is a lot, you know, tax wise and how to do things like to benefit you. Also do doing things the right way. Something that I've had to learn and I'm still learning. So, you know, it is what it is. Like being owning your own business and being an entrepreneur is cute and all. But it's definitely not for the week. It's definitely not, okay? Because I've had to learn so many different things. And it can be stressful at times, but, you know, it's worth it when you start to see, like, the, um, when you start to see the benefits. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty interesting. But I love it here, not gonna lie. Just a little bit of mascara, just to... Bring the eyes together. You know, this took me everything, all of like five minutes to do this makeup routine. All I did was concealer, a little bit of highlighter, some powder, and blush. And then eyebrows and mascara, of course. I'm also getting my nails done, so I kind of wanted to be a little put together to go do a little maintenance. So we are all set. I am, of course, going to put some gloss on. I'm going to do that after I put my clothes on. It is 12.17. I'm about to go grab my clothes. I'm going to wear... What's the temperature? I feel like I'm all over the place right now, y'all. It's 59 degrees. I'm going to just wear, like, some sweatpants and um, a cute little sweatshirt. So I'm going to grab it, and I'll show y'all what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing these gray sweatpants with just this purple sweatshirt. I thought it was cute together, the colors. And I'm going to put, I have on my little everyday name necklace. I'm going to throw some earrings on real quick. And I think I'm going to carry this bag today because I haven't worn this in a minute. I think it looks cute with the outfit. Let me back y'all up so you can really see the full thing. Just something real casual, but still put together and cute. What do we think? So this is like our running errands. Go and get our nails done. Fit. And I'll just put everything in here. I love this bag because it literally fits everything. There's not a thing that won't fit. My camera's gonna fit. This is my favorite gloss, y'all. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Lifter Gloss. And this is the color Ice. So pretty. There's another one that I really like too. I gotta just get the name. And I think that's everything. I also need to bring this with me. This is my um, salon license. I need to renew that. Because it's about that time. And I'm trying to stay up on my licenses this year. That's another thing I'm learning is to write down when all of my licenses are due so that I don't have to end up paying late fees, which I have learned. Okay, so I'm about to go fill up my water bottle y'all this is my favorite water bottle i know all the girls are loving the <clears throat> what's it called the stanley yeah i don't need no stanley y'all i think it's 40 dollars. this thing is about 20 half the price and i get it from amazon my water from last night is still cold and i'm about to go fill it up again and we're gonna be sipping on this all day long so i'm gonna tag this down below also in my in my um storefront so y'all can come up here and get what y'all one of these okay because this is what we own, okay? Hmm. For that one. Um, the lighting is really weird right now. Probably because I'm next to this building. But yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what else I can update y'all on because I feel like it's been so long since we've since we chatted. I'm trying to think what we could talk about. Hmm. Um business stuff is pretty much normal. I have this availability on Wednesday that's really irking me. It's like this hour and a half availability from 11.15 to 12.30. That's driving me nuts. So somebody better book this appointment because it's going it's gonna, to it's gonna get me real upset. I don't like having gaps in my schedule, y'all. Like, I'm not used to having, like, big gaps anymore in my schedule. I like to just run through my day. Um, but right now, I have this, this availability. Nobody's booking it, and it's, it's driving me. Thank you. You too. All right, y'all. Got the goods. Nobody's behind me, so I can hurry up and set myself up. 
And they put it in like, it looks like they put it in a grande cup. Or is this, a, no, it's a tall cup. But this is just enough. Like, why do we need them big old drinks? This is just enough. I cannot believe, every time I get a drink, I cannot believe I used to get a venti. And I would, I would finish it too. Like, it's just was a lot. We don't need, I don't need all that. Let me speak for myself. But, this is so good. Mm. And it has coffee in it, so it, it you know, you get that, that caffeine still. But it's not like super coffee. Coffee in the morning was starting to kind of make my stomach hurt, low key. So I kind of had to lay low. I'm emailing the um, wedding planner for this wedding this weekend back right now. And I'm um, headed to the hair supply store beauty supply store y'all this makeup routine chef's kiss okay and you fall and you run when you see my big guns run around run away as the rebel comes out then you go call on me when you call me i come and then you go again with your deaf ears open your mind to the sound of the trumpet what do you want from a life of the hopeless now yeah you want you're begging a crowd so y'all were at the shop i came to kind of just assess the situation since i was close by um i know for a fact i needed some a few things so i had to get some open bobby pins this is gonna be for the wedding so i'm gonna keep that in my car or something need to get some color for my client this week and then i also needed to see what colors i did have because I don't like double buying stuff and then I'll run back to Salon Centric real quick. And then I also needed some got to be spray because um, I ran out and I also need this for the wedding this weekend. Um, so I'm going to show y'all kind of how I like to organize certain things in here. And I want to go, honestly, and we'll do that in like a separate video, but I want to reorganize the salon because it's just a little crazy here right now. And I want to kind of just start fresh. Um, so I normally put my bobby pins in like this little jar, this covered jar. It's from, um, Target from Threshold. I'll tag it down below, but y'all probably seen this before if you shop at Target, but I'm almost out of bobby pins. So I bought two packs of just regular bobby pins. This is a 300 count. I just fill it up and I'll... Just put the pack of like extras in my drawer. Um, and y'all, this drawer, I gotta empty this drawer. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like because I like to keep it real with y'all, as you know. But this drawer has got to be cleared out. This is so bad. Um, okay. So here's my extras. And these are my open body pads. But y'all, look. Look, look at this. Look at this foolishness. This is my drawer with like all of my stuff in it pretty much. But look at this. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Like I have got to sort this out. I have hair from clients that just haven't come pick their hair up yet. I have tools and bundles it's just a lot right now um but i'm gonna just add to the mess and throw <laughs> those in here here's just some extra bundles for somebody to come pick up and then yeah the fit really cute in this little container i just sit on my drawer oh not my drawer my, my little shelf um i'm gonna have the lady that cleans my salon sometimes i'm gonna have her come in and just really clean deep clean in here because I need to I need to like really clean up I need it dusted and mopped and shelves cleaned and all of that stuff so we're gonna do that um I need to see exactly what I had for my other clients so I normally take pictures of anything that I think I might need and then once I get to the store I'll um, really determine I think one of the best things I did this past year was got myself a business phone. 
I no longer use my personal cell phone for my clients. Um, and it's no like, no bad energy. It's just, it's no bad vibes. It's just, I like to separate business from personal. It makes it easy when I'm traveling or when it's like my off days, I leave the phone at home. And when it's time for me to pick back up, I grab it and we do it like that. Um, I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to separate business and work. It just makes it really easy. Um, 40-30. I don't know if I've showed y'all this, but I put my bleach in this little glass jar and I have this gold little thing, little scooper, to scoop it out. Zero value. 40. 40. Look at 40. So 30. I need to get a 20 value. And I'm good on 10. Okay. So I need a 20 volume and 10 volume. So normally what I do is I just write it in my notes. 20 and 10 volume. And I think Amika has a sale, so I'm gonna put some Amika on there and grab some of that at the store too. Oops. So my towels I store in the drawer. I'm gonna go home and wash these. Um, and then what else y'all here's how the salon's looking I'm gonna do like an updated salon tour because a lot of things have changed um, so I'm gonna do that just to like 20 like the 2020 20, 2023 version of the salon because yeah we've had some updates but I'm loving how it is right now last time we talked I think I told you guys that my light went out so I need to figure out what to do with that still not sure but yeah i'm about to run out of here because i don't want to be here all day i want to fly yeah i'm flying into money running away to the london sky